I will never ask God to um, make it so that I have to do less. I'm just simply asking for the amount of rest needed to have the energy in order to accomplish it all. Okay, so I just went and got my eyes checked. Um, my prescription still hasn't changed, which is wild to me because um, I have had the same prescription for just about 14 years now um, since I was pregnant with my oldest and it just hasn't changed yet. I'm not complaining, but I am just ever so slightly surprised. Um, I almost, so first of all, your girl was late was not on time and I'm very grateful that they even took me because they didn't have to because I was like 11 minutes late. I don't like to be late but shit happens I'm not gonna lie. I have nothing to say for it like I couldn't even say that it was traffic. It was purely just mismanagement of time. I was trying to download the uh, YouTube video that I recorded today and it took forever. So um, you know that's just kind of where we were. Um, I still haven't downloaded it. I still am working on it, but I'm going to go and find some place to sit down and work at. Um, so that way I can make the best of my time instead of going back home. But also, now that your girl has a pair of um, contacts, I switched to monthlies. Now that your girl's got some contacts, we can go back to wearing sunglasses. I wear my sunglasses at night. This was the last Tuesday that I was keeping my niece and so I didn't have my um, my camera out to record anything because I wanted to just have some uninterrupted auntie and niece time before she started school. But I was actually kind of sore today so I decided to get into my little sauna bed as soon as I got home from running carpool. Your girl was tired. Um, this has just been a tiring week. I still haven't gotten back onto my schedule of taking my um, my supplements and things like that. So it was a, it's was a it been a challenge in making sure that I have my energy levels up. So I decided that I needed some self-care so I zippered myself up um, to go ahead and get on in this little um, what I call my sauna um sleeping bag and I decided to take some time to read and so I did and I listened to my body and I'm really proud of myself for that but literally that was it for Tuesday it's it's Wednesday so I woke up and I got to planning my day because Tuesday was really unproductive so I wanted to make sure that I was able to start my day off and be focused with what I had going on so um yeah Wednesday 
kicked off the right way.
Good morning. It is 8.30 in the morning and that's Thursday and I have just spent 30 minutes in my bed just trying to figure out what life is because I'm so, so tired. Um, so, so tired. I will never ask God to um, make it so that I have to do less. I'm just simply asking for the amount of rest needed to have the energy in order to accomplish it all. I'm currently wearing the sweatshirt that I made yesterday. This is my I love you sweatshirt. Um, and the super nerdy version of me made this. And then I put on the back like book quotes that essentially say I love you, but don't say I love you like you are the oxygen in my life. I can't live without you. Things like that. You know what I mean? Because we all know that book talk has really made some of these things popular and let's be real here who wouldn't want someone to say that to them and like mean it from the bottom of their heart so hint hint hubby this is how to say it. i love you no i'm just joking but book boyfriends really do say it the best i am going to probably end up making one just with like the things that zayden ryerson has said to uh violet sorengale in both fourth wing as well as iron flame whatever um it's been another busy week. I'm happy that it's Thursday. I can't believe that I made it to Thursday, but um, I have so many emails to answer because I have not been able to kind of really sit. Yesterday, I spent basically all day in the car. That might be an over-exaggeration. I got in the car like 1230 to go pick my daughter up. She had a, an ortho appointment, which I talked about yesterday, well, earlier, Um and then from the orthodontist appointment and doing everything, I was in the car and didn't get home until like almost six o'clock because it was so much traffic, so much traffic.
So this is how lunch turned out. I did prep uh, today and tomorrow's food. I love a scramble and that's what this is essentially. I put tofu in and a bunch of other stuff, but I'm running late. Good morning, friends. It is the morning of Friday, February 2nd. It's amazing how I had already forgotten what day it was. Um, I did not want to get up and do anything today. But, alas, here we are making coffee. Um, Y'all, my like... <sighs> okay, so like my little kettle is not working. Okay, there we go. Kettle, please don't play with me like that ever again. I digress. Anyway, so I'm spending the morning um, sewing, hopefully. Um, I was supposed to go and see about getting like some stuff done outside of the house. But I have to be honest, y'all, like, leaving the house as much as I have been over the past like week has just been hard and I'm tired. Like the past two weeks, three weeks, this whole year, your girl's been out the house and I'm just like, I can't believe there was a time that I used to do this all the time and now I'm, silently crying for that person because the way that I love my house and I love being home is really wild. So anyway, I think I'm going to start today. So my daughter's school, um, my oldest daughter's school had their water main break, which means that they had to do, go to a different school. I'm eating lunch now. And I got a call from my daughter's friend's mom who needs me to pick her up. And I'm just like, you know what? I will go pick these kids up early. I definitely had plans on going ahead and sewing the rest of the afternoon. But if I pick my oldest up early, and then I'm super early in that carpool line to pick up my other two. Y'all, your girl can be home early-ish. And we have dinner tonight. We have dinner reservations tonight to go celebrate my other friend's son. And I'm making this outfit. It's coming together. Let me show you guys. So um, I made a bodysuit out of this mesh, which... I know it's like a kid's birthday party, but you know, we're gonna keep it sexy at all times, whatever. So I've got that mesh bodysuit to go with this, um, like midi maxi pencil skirt. And then the, that fabric that's back there is going to be kind of like over it. And it, I made like a little, uh, you know, like duster kimono style. So it's got like the set in sleeves. I mean, not the set in sleeves, but it's got like the wide sleeves very excited about this but i'm gonna eat lunch and then i'm gonna go skedaddle and pick these kids up
So even though the food was not the best, we still had a really great time. And this was my week. This is what I wore out. And I hope that you all enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. Until next time.